Okay, today I thought we'd take a look at these uh, Climaton robots. I have three different types. The original one is over here. And then uh, these ones with the lights and there's a white one in the back were some of the best. Then they did a four-legged version. Some of the different packaging form is visible down here. Um, what do I want to say about these? Well, I think, let's grab this white one because it might show up best. Basically, you uh, open these two ends and slip in a AAA battery into each side. This is your on-off switch. You have these suction cups on the bottom. This particular one has a light on the front. And uh, there's a mechanical mechanism that makes the leg take a step, the suction cup go down, and then it pulls up on the suction cup mechanically in this one to make it adhere. If it's going to work, I'm going to put it on this piece of plexiglass and make it walk up. I mean, they'll walk flat on the surface too. I'll show you that too. But supposedly, they can climb up walls and that kind of stuff. So let's. Uh, Let's try to get it going here. The reason I'm doing it down low is because if it falls, I don't want it to break into a million pieces. But there you can see it. Brings those legs down. Mechanically, makes the suction cup grab. And frickin' walks up uh, right up the wall. Supposedly can even walk upside down. I don't know. I'm not going to try it upside down, I'm trying to get the on off switch with one hand. You know that's going to let loose, so let's just get it there. So if you wanted to walk on a regular flat surface, you could do that also if I can get to the switch. Kind of an Ed 209 kind of a look. The, uh, the original version of it down here, I, don't, uh, I think I stuck batteries in one of these. This little switch on the back of the head, wasn't that guy. So let's set him back here. Must be this gray one. Oh yeah, the hatches are still open. So you can see here's where the AAA batteries and these ones, one goes on each side. Here's your uh, on off switch. And uh, it's got the same Awful hard to do with one hand. Got the same walking action. But uh, I didn't have much luck with these walking without falling. I don't think their suction cup stuff was worked out quite as well as they were by the time they get into these versions that we just saw go up the wall. Then they did uh, four legged versions with different faces on them. I think the silver one's the one I loaded with some batteries. In this case, it's got four legs, and uh, you put two AA batteries in it, so it's got more power. And they got rid of that clicking, sucking action. Here they actually have, you can see, suction cups with hoses that come up, and there's bellows inside here. So it actually forms a vacuum using the bellows. And uh, they have this piece in that runs from the front to the rear. It's so it can auto reverse if it bumps into something, and it's also the main on and off switch when it's pushed all the way back. So, if I push this, try and do uh, get it going here for you. So, here we can have that going. You can see the bellows in there moving. Let's give this a shot. They don't have any water out here. They're suggesting that you clean the suction cups with some water. It's, it's sort of sticking, but it wants to fall. So I'm not having a whole lot of luck with that. Stuck to the floor pretty good, though. I can't really push against that. An interesting design. Not a super great toy. I'm sure it probably works better way back when it was uh, new. There'd be the reverse mode. Let's try reverse. Who knows? 
Well, look at that, it sort of likes reverse. Hasn't fallen. Yeah, so it's walking better in reverse. And then uh, I believe all the way back, yeah, stops it. So there you have it. You've got the Climatrons. Uh, what else is on here that we can maybe gain some knowledge from? Well, one of the thing I can tell you is if you ever happen to get one of these, the batteries are under this cover, and the only instructions that come with you tell you to pry this up and just lift the cover off. Well, the only problem with that is, is there are two screws, which they don't mention. One there, and one there. They're already out, so you can see the holes. If you don't take those screws out, you're not getting that cover off. I don't care who you are. They don't bother to tell you that in the instructions. They just say, no, it'll just, just come right off. Well, it won't just come right off. You've got you've to gotta remove the screws. I was looking to see if there was anything on here. Made in China, like a date or something. But in the land of unusual toys, these uh, these rank up there with them. Say, if you're gonna buy one to play with, I would go with these. These, all three of these, the white one that we ran earlier, and those two, still worked quite well. Would still climb up the glass. Didn't have any real luck with these guys sticking. They have a different type of suction tuck material than these ones do. And you can see this one sort of worked. There was the white one back there that we ran earlier that does, that does work well. Let's try it again. They're really quite cool. This one anyway. Kind of hard to hold on to it with one hand though. Because I mean, where do you grab, right? Okay, we were almost going. I think the suction cups need cleaning. They do mention that. Uh, you got to keep them. Uh, got to keep those suction cups clean and then maybe moisten them with a damp cloth to improve the suction. But uh, interesting idea. Interesting toy.